And hello, I'm Shelly Walcott with this edition of Cook's Corner. And today you are in for a treat, a meal that looks really delicious. I'm here with Emily and Bob. They are both from the Concord Regional Technical Center. Welcome to you both. It's great to have you here. It's great Thanks to be here. Thanks for having us. Well, let me start with you, Emily. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be making today? All right, so I'm making a marinated shrimp with a Thai peanut sauce. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for you today is I'm going to be um, searing the shrimp um, in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to be finishing it off over here. Okay, I'll let you get to it because time goes pretty quickly in these segments. So what kind of oil is that that you're putting in the pan? Olive oil. Olive oil. Yep. Okay, that's a pretty healthy choice. Mm -hmm. So you were both from the Concord Regional Technical Center and as Emily gets this started, Bob, can you tell us a little bit about what exactly the Technical Center is? Sure, it's a high school level uh, career tech ed program. We have 10 different uh, vocational programs in there. It's a regional program, so Emily comes from one of our sending schools. Um, and it's all based around different types of careers. Uh, we obviously have the culinary arts, baking. We run a dining room, full dining room, or a licensed restaurant, and uh, everything we do is commercially all commercial stuff so and this looks absolutely delicious I gotta tell you I'm listening to you but I'm also taking a look <laughs> it looks like the shrimp has been marinated in has. something what, what what's it been marinating in alright so I made my own sauce for the marinade it has um, soy sauce fish sauce um, it also has cumin ground coriander it has so good. also um, garlic and ginger sounds good so you put that all into the pan mm -hmm. You sear it up in there, I'll let you go ahead and do that. So is your hope, Emily, to eventually become a chef professionally? Oh, definitely. I plan on going to college after I am done high school. Yeah. I am a senior, so that'll be done pretty quickly. That's really good for somebody that likes food. So you put that in the pan, and how long do you have to sear it? How long do you have to sear it? Yeah. It depends. Um, I usually sear it until it's got a nice golden brown on the other side. It takes yeah. about one to two minutes. Oh, that's side. not bad. And what I love about shrimp is that it's such a quick dish. Oh, it really definitely. cooks up pretty quickly. That's really awesome. Bob, do a lot of kids that leave the school or young adults that leave the school end up finding jobs in restaurants around New Hampshire? Majority of them, yes. There's a few that, you know, cho choose not to. They, they've done enough while they're with me, but yeah. um, they still love to cook. But I'd say 80% or better of my students either go on to college and or will go out into the industry. Now, believe it or not, we have less than a minute left. So through the magic <laughs> of television, I'm going to have you show us exactly what happens next. We put it into up. the uh, little dish over there. Can you show us really quickly how you finish it off? Of course. Yep. I'm not quite sure if it's quite done yet. but Okay, that's okay. Through the magic of television. Put it in the little, what do you have in there? It looks like cucumber and sprouts. All right, those are bean sprouts yeah. and cilantro, peanuts, and chives. So what I do is I place it on here. Boy, that's pretty. Yep. Lovely, and so that would be a great appetizer or a great finished dish. Yep, and that looks really delicious. Thanks for coming in and showing that to us. That's so easy to make. I think a lot of people will enjoy that. So thank you for coming You're in welcome. again, and thanks for joining us for this edition of Cook's Corner.